Greetings, everyone. I and Yona Step are welcoming you all in the eighth episode of the Power Platform Community Tool Series. In this episode, we are going to talk about another important plugin or the tool available in the XRM toolbox, which is none other than Plugin Trace Viewer or PTV. If you have not watched the previous episodes, please check the complete playlist or the links in the description of the video. And don't forget to subscribe the channel to get the notification on the new uploads. The principal objective of the plugin trace viewer is to provide a user friendly interface for the developers or the administrators of Microsoft Dynamic 365 and the Power Platform, facilitating an efficient examination of the plugin trace log. This tool encompasses features that allow the filtration of the logs and the presentation of the information in a manner that are not readily be achievable within the existing Microsoft Dataverse user interface. Max and Mia, co-workers in the Contoso are back now after the summer break. Mia seek the help from Max that could you help me to view the details of the plugin trace like mode, depth or so on on the plugin trace logs. Max segmented her to use the plugin trace viewer. He asked to follow the demo by Jonas to know how easy to configure and use. So over to you, Jonas. Okay, thank you. Let me show like this plugin trace log has been out there for 10 years or so. And the UI that's from the from the Dynamics system, nothing has been improved in years. Well, never. <laughs> it has been better. So uh, that's why I'm using mine instead, so I can actually see what I want to see in the easiest way and so on. Which means here is the plugin trace viewer, and then it just started, and it starts like this. There are a bunch of uh, fields here and so on. Let's just go through what we have here and so on. Start in the menu. Well, the retrieve uh, logs is, uh, of course, the of course with an F5 as well, since you want to do that a lot of time uh, to just get it from the from the database. You can open and save. Those two don't, don't care about that. They're probably not interesting. Uh, you can make it to refresh automatically or just notify if there's something new there or it's off. But the most important thing is the setting. So this is the setting, not for this tool, but it's a setting for your environment. So now it's off, which means nothing will be written to the tracing log, uh, which means I usually do it just all, uh, not to just get the exceptions. There are some uh, sort of how you should do probably in your production environment and so on, to, to not create too much data. But anyway, I always use all anyway. And here now it said it will update the organization and the organization for the settings there. And it may take a second actually until it's done. There, now it's done. <clears throat> Which means now there will be uh, logs written to the plugin trace. Um, and this is just for the tracing, a few different menus there, and the logs is for this, uh, the message you actually get for each row, row there, and then uh, windows, well, here you can select we, which we should show up, and so on. So let me just get them here, uh, and now it will get uh, these traces, trace logs, that are uh, sort of looking with the filters we have. So the filters panel here, it can filter on a lot lot things. In this case, I have filtered, say, do not show any plugins, plugins that have, they're including AVX, because I'm not caring about that. We can do that in a much different ways here and so on, but just to look into that. And then we can also select by special messages, uh, entities, and so on. And here to, on the right part of this uh, filtering, we can set that only show, only get the exceptions. Otherwise, I will get uh, those without exceptions as well. Only plugins or workflow activities. Workflow activities are getting less and less we're using it, but anyway, it's possible here. Uh, you can select get only uh, synchronous or asynchronous. Pre-value, pre-operation, post-operation, those are the, the modes where it's running or the stages. And then, it, well, if I there's some issue with my system, something takes a long time, well, then we can, we need to get, uh, well, everything that takes a second or so. Um, 
Usually I don't have it. And then finally, there's a records. If I don't have that included, included here, then it, it may take time. Depends on how much you have in your database. Anyway, so that was those. So let's look now into the traces. So these are all the logs written here. And we can see what we, well, the columns here. We have the start date, start time. Those are actually for this, just for the UI, which makes it easier to use it. I've split it up the uh, date time into a date and one time. It's a small thing, but it helps us. Um, and we see here that currently when I just select something here, there are a lot of things are now sort of reddish in the background. It will help us to see that, well, which are connected in some way. So this one selected will show everyone that has, in this case, from the same plugin. Um, the There's a lot of, well, I've tried to improve this, um, this tool by saying, well, we have this plugin, we have the name, just you from a standard way. We got the name, Rappen Canary 365 plugin Canary. And then it is repeated in the step because the steps are created like this if we, if we don't change it manually. So I, then it's too much information. I don't need that. Then I can say, okay, hide plugin names from steps. And now we see a bit more what it's actually doing. Since a lot of information just makes it hard for our brain. So we remove as much as possible. Another thing we see here, we have, of course, the entity when what it triggered on. Well, do we want to see the entity there as well? No, we don't want that. So we can just say hide those as well. So now it's, it's a lot easier to see what is the step, what's happening right now. Okay, so we have the entity. And as I said, we have the operation that should, could be plugin and the workflow activities. Usually, I mean, since I don't do workflow things, so then I can just remove that column. And I have some other things here. We have the mode. Is it doing synchronous or asynchronous? And the, when when did it actually trigger this plugin? What's well, the post operation? There can be pre validation, pre operation as well. But that could be good to have there. And actually, rank that is so important to actually use. I think most time it just says one because it gets one by default, which means if you have several plugins triggering on updating an account, we don't know in which order they will be done if they both have the same number. So set a number there when you are actually reg registering the plugin steps and so on. So basically uh, what the last one here is the exception. Uh, if there's been something really wrong, you have an exception, you get it here and it'll, this, this tool will try to sort of find just the information that's important to see when something has uh, broken. Um, okay, if we go to the right side here, we have the trace message. Um, there is, and for this case, I'm just using my canary. If you think this looks good, well, go Google for Jonas Rapp uh, and uh, search for canary. Um, anyway, so this is just some default plugin I'm using here, and it says a lot of information, and my brain you want to just melt because it's a lot of info here. There are a lot of GUIDs and so on, which means I can actually get a bit of help here. So I go to the logs for this and I can say highlight GUIDs. Ah, now it's a lot more easier. I can see all these yellow things. These are just GUIDs and this is easy to sort of see what's there. And we can actually also see that, well, I need, should need to scroll up to the right side or instead of doing that, I can just say, well, wrap uh, text so that I don't need to do that as well. So now I see everything here and I see those. Uh, the my lovely feature that I created like a few months ago, which I today I can't live without it, is to actually say that identify records. It will try to look at the information the which table, which grids, and so on, and to actually find your know, which one, which one is it talking about? So we see here for the first one it found found there is an user user ID, and there's a grid, and it will know. Okay, this is Jonas who have actually uh, triggered this plugin. And now the, here we see NASA. There, okay, there's an account with the grid, 
and not us for that, and so on. It moves on. Uh, so <laughs> I love this feature. And actually, at the top here, it had also added a which what's actually which record what's actually triggering this plugin step. And we say, well, there was something happened on NASA. That's why it started. It was updated. Um, and finally, we can go to uh, this. Uh, there's a button there with the records that it has identified. Is So we get that. Okay. It was um, triggered by NASA. There's a contact include somewhere down in this trace message. Uh, it's Elon Musk. And there's a, a SDK message that actually actually triggered this plugin, and there's a user. And you know what? We can actually just click on this one, and then it will find it. Oh, let me go back and forth. Then it will just go to that record. So I can actually see, aha, NASA, something happened here. If we have a problem or not, or if it doesn't work in the way we want it to, and this is slow, I'm sorry. Um, so I think that's a very good use. But I mean, this information, it's trying to sort of find the table and the grid and trying to match it with the record actually in the database. Um, if you're using this uh, canary, then it works most times. And it works for a few others that I've uh, got from uh, other people out there who I uh, should test with that and to sort of identify the records. If you have anything more to in more info that you want to actually to to find there to to, to identify records, let me know. Call me somewhere. No, don't call me. Uh, create a sort of a issue on my GitHub as well. Um, Anyway, I was talking, there's also another window here for exemptions. So if there was something wrong, this window will actually bio automatically just show up. And it works like it, it contains only what is actually in the exception message. And it, will, it can try to find records and so on, get the links and so on, just like the trace message. And I think that's sort of a very short intro to this tool, and I guess that's it. What do you say, Ambesh? That is awesome. And now probably I would say why XRM Toolbox don't need the copilot within, because you have everything here. So you don't have to actually type Who's anything. He? Yeah, there's one thing, something called and very popular right now in the market. But what I'm trying to say, like you have everything. What else you would you would think about like uh, you have an exception you need to look the trace um, now you can look the all of the errors logs with the multiple filters multiple variation plus you can uh, directly view the record what record it is coming on and then on the top of that you can navigate also on to the particular record so this is awesome mm -hmm. tool yeah. and um, and I, I, yeah. I need to use that since i it's really hard actually to do a debug in the code in the c sharp code for your plugins you have to set up a lot of things so it can work. Right. And I mean, in the production environment, don't do that because no, no, it's a big no, no. But you having this sort of the, the history from the plugin logs, I just can't live without that. It makes life so much easier. And I mean, for when we have our customers that have a, a new version or a, a totally new system that we've created. Well, we just keep these uh, plugin logs on for a year or so, so we can make sure it's now it's very stable, the system and so on. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Thank you again, Jonas, for the wonderful demo as always. And please subscribe to the channel, like and share the video within the community. Also provide your feedback and the comments in the section that what episode you would like to cover it next or if you have any kind of the further feedback till that have a great time happy learning thank you so much take care